All right, welcome everyone to Back to Basics Tuesday night training. Uh, Mark and Martha Murray. And tonight we are talking about a lifestyle of recruiting. So I'm super excited to talk about this. I love to talk about um, team building and sponsoring and recruiting. And um, it's really, we, 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 it's all about building relationships right. and that's something that we really like to do. So um, I'm super excited to talk about that tonight. Um, when I, when I first started, like tomorrow is my nine years anniversary. So I joined February 12th, nine years ago. Yep. And, um, shortly after I, I became a consultant, I started setting some goals at first. I just, it was just a fun thing. And that went on for a few months until I went to my first Sensi convention. And then I started setting some goals. Like I had a goal to have, you know, 10, 10 frontline and then it was 20 frontline and 25 frontline because I was told that when if you want to have earn a hundred thousand dollars a year you need a minimum of at least 100 people on your front line so that was became a long-term goal for me was to have a hundred people on my front line and today we have 88 people on our front line mm -hmm. so I'm getting close to that goal and when you you know in like I said that was a long-term goal that was and I've been with Sensi for nine years so you need to set some short-term goals and long-term goals and our puppy dog is scratching at the door so <laughs> if you he can't be without me so <laughs> um Oh, we're gonna go okay but anyways and last year like in each year like I want to each month my goal has been like I want two new team members that's kind of been a long-term goal of me two two thousand PRV every month two team members um, last year in 2019 over the whole year we had um, 28 recruits from last year mm -hmm. So um, we were out that, that was more than the two, like some months, like I haven't recruited any and then other months I'll have like four or five, you know, so, but it's all about planting seeds. And tonight we're going to talk about that. And um, because it is a lifestyle, recruiting is a lifestyle and something that you just need to do wherever you go. Right. And so we're going to share a little bit about that. When, whenever we go out, what we try to do is we try to think, and it's kind of already been ingrained in our brains. To where, um, where because we're, it's 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 something it became a habit. We got right. We we are intentional about it now, right? Right. That's what I was gonna say. Be intentional about when you go out. Think about your conversations, how you can incorporate your Cincy business and the opportunity is like mm -hmm. you know to to someone else. Right. Um, think about that. Be intentional. We we talk a lot about being intentional. Um, you have to be intentional about how you run your business. You have to be intentional about the things that you do, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be intentional about um, how you spend your money, right? Because if you don't, you've run out of money before all your bills are paid or before your food is all purchased or whatever the case is. You have to be intentional about all these things. So a lot of times we forget, though, to be intentional about our business, right? right? right. So. Um, so Jason Harwood let this two weeks ago, I think it was, did a training call on share the opportunity sheets. And I asked everybody to print this off and we're going to go over this tonight. I absolutely love this sheet. And I think this sheet right here, it's in your uh, workstation. I got the link in Sweet Aroma. If you haven't printed it off yet, no worries. Uh, we're going to go over it and then you can print it off when we get off the call. But I think this form teaches you how to have a lifestyle of recruiting. I absolutely love it. And um, so I'm gonna go, we're gonna go over this sheet tonight and then just share a little bit of some personal stories of, of different things that we've learned in our nine years with Sensi on recruiting. <clears throat> because um, nine years in and my, I have, my recruiting is higher now than it's ever been. So you don't run out of people. Like some people think like, who can I recruit? Like I've recruited everybody I know or I don't have anybody, but you don't. It's something, I, to me, recruiting is a skill that has to be learned and become, like we said, it's a lifestyle of recruiting. Um, Jason Howard said on the call, he said, a closed mouth does not get fed. fed. Yep. And I think that is huge right there. Right? Yep, right. If you're not talking, right? 
it's not going to happen, right? So you have to build a network of friends. And we're, we, we're in a network business, right? Exactly. Yeah. This is a relationship business, right? And it's all about, and like how fun we get to have like hundreds of thousands of friends in this business. Like how cool is that? Right. <laughs> you get to talk to all the people. Um, and so we're going to talk about that, that, that a little bit tonight. So step one, a, who is on your list? Who would you like to have on your Sensi team? So think about it. I mean, that's something you should be thinking about. You run into people, I'm sure, even at the grocery store, mm -hmm. um, whether you're at work or school. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. One of the people that we seen before um, that joined that when I had my business before, they came in because we thought they were great with people. Mm -hmm. So they helped out in the front end of our business when we had our automotive business, you know, because they were outgoing, they were personable. I'm, we all think that, hey, this person will be so great at whatever. Right. You know, so. whenever you have, when you ever, you have a Sunsy party, you're going to have, an, oh, you're having a home party. There's always like that one person. That's like the life of the party. Right. I mean, they're just outgoing and just talking you're like to me, like, Oh my gosh, they would make a good Sunsy consultant. Right. They're friendly. They're outgoing. Right. Um, we also, we do events, right? We have somebody that they're, they're, they're walking through and they come into the booth and they're like, Oh my gosh, I love Sensi. Like, have you ever thought about being a consultant? Right. Immediately that comes out of my mouth now, right? Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Um, where I'm at a home party and there's, there's a mom there and it's like, Oh my gosh, the kids are driving me crazy. It's so good to get out of the house. I'm so glad to be here tonight. They need to be a consultant. They want to get out of the house. Right. Right. They would make a good consultant. People that are friendly, they're obsessed, obsessed with Sensi, they're positive, right? We want a positive team. Um, people that radiate positivity, right? Those are the people that we want on your team. So those are just a few ideas of people that you could add to that uh, step 1A. How could Sensi enrich their life? Well, the stay-at-home mom that loves to get out of the house, right? That would give her that opportunity to get out of the house and then have a little extra spending money. Right. That's how Sensi could enrich her life. So many times when people, um, my, I'm going to turn my phone around because it keeps going off and it's distracting me. <laughs> um, um, so many times, sometimes, you know, we, ha we, we're thinking, look at the big picture sometimes, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, you know, they, we think like, oh, maybe they could use extra $50,000 a year or something, right? People are not looking at Sensi. When they join Sensi, they're not looking at it like that. No, like, that you, would be overwhelming. That's too overwhelming. I didn't look at it that way. Um, probably most of you did not look at it that way, right? Um, the people are looking to maybe make an extra 50 bucks a month. You like pay, pay the water bill, maybe a 200 extra dollars a month. Yeah. Or maybe for a car payment, right? That's kind of what people are looking at. Kids sports team, kids college fund. Um, my sister-in-law is on our team. She joined Sensi for her kids college fund. Yep. That's the kind of things like we had um, a principal that joined Sensi. They were looking at it for a retirement. Everything that they made with Sensi was their retirement. That's kind of just gives you idea of like people that have joined on our team. That's what they were looking for. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to listen to some of what they're looking for too. Yes, when you're that's to so them. important. Listen. Yeah. To, you have to, to listen. listen because then you're going to know like, Ooh, that's how Sensi could help them, right? Um, all right, when you meet these people, or when you're out now, networking, talking to people, when you're at home parties, have them hook up with you on Facebook, right? That could be a little fun game at um, your, your Sensi party when you're there. I have my phone out when I'm at my events. My phone is there, and I, if I find somebody that's there, um, and they seem very interested. I'm like, oh my gosh, let me add you to my VIP page, right? So then I'm going to go and they're, I, I want them to send me a friend request because I don't want them to walk out of my booth without sending me a friend request because if I send them a friend request, they might not see it or whatever, right? They might not ever send me a friend. Like I want them to send me the friend request so I can accept them and then add them to my VIP group. Super, super important because 
this has happened so many times, you guys, where I have, I've added them and they didn't join Sensi right then and there. I developed that relationship with them. We connected. I commented on their, on their Facebook statuses. And we just had last month, okay, does any, since they used to have a purse line, I don't know if you guys might not even know this, and it was called Grace Adele. That was since It was, well, was purses bag. and jewelry and yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like an accessory line, I guess. And um, I did a home party. This was several years ago, and I did a home party. It was called Grace Adele with a lady. And she is still on my email list, and she just joined Sensi last month. Yeah, as a consultant been, under us. That's that was so many years ago, you guys, when five, I did that home party. Six, but more. she's at a place now. She's getting ready to retire, and Sensi's going to be an, uh, a little supplemental income coming in for her. You just never know. So hook up. I I, I connected to her with uh, on Facebook at that home party all those years ago. And she's been watching me, and she gets my uh, monthly emails. Yep. Well, Shrimp Fest, two years ago, actually the first year we were down here, we did, we did a big event. It's called Shrimp Fest down here. We did it. Someone came into our booth. They bought Sensi from us. She was added on to your Facebook friends. She came in the next year and said, she says, I just want to join. She drove down from wherever she lives down to Shrimp Fest to join right there. Right, right. And it was a year later. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, so we covered those three first columns. Who would you love to have on your team? How would Sensi enrich their life? And then notes for follow-up. Okay. So follow-up. The fortune is in the follow-up. Just like we talked about right here. Um, people getting my emails. You know, follow-up is also going and commenting on their Facebook statuses because you're building that those connections, right? How and where will you meet new people? We've talked about this already a little bit too. The home parties, the events. Like, um, how about at the, at the gym, a workout, you know, you can meet people there, your kids' schools, um, church, uh, referrals, um, yeah. all of these are ways, that, doctor's offices, right? All of these are places where you can meet people and make those connections with people. Lines at Disney World. Lines at Disney World, yeah. How about at the resort? Yep, yep. Waiting to ride the... Um, a few years ago, we did a we went to a leadership retreat. It was at the Moon Palace in um, Moon Palace in Cancun. Yep, in Mexico. In Mexico, Mark was on. Mark, you can tell the story. So I thought I'd be cool and try to do the <laughs> surf, you know, the surf thing where they had the water shooting back. I thought I was young and I could do all of that. So I got in line and I did it. As soon as I got on the board, I wiped out. Wham! Hit my head. Start all over. So I kept doing it. Well then. I was talking to these guys in line. So I'm talking to them. They were from Australia, New Zealand, all over there. Just started talking to them, told them what we were there for, asked what they were there for. They were there for a wedding, told them what we did. And he's like, hey, my girlfriend loves candles. She loves that kind of stuff. She's sitting out there. Actually, Martha starts talking to her. We get off, the, off of that thing and hook up. She ended up joining our team over in Australia. So just talking in lines, you know, think about that. I mean, you're in line at the grocery store. You're in right. line. Like I said, we were at Disney. You're in line there. You can talk to people. You know, you're building some, some of these relationships that way. Um, Great America. Got plenty of lines when you go to Great America, right? During right. the summer. So you can try to talk to people there, mm -hmm. wherever you're at. And that's what, you know, at Walmart. Yeah. Like, and I always think, like, I'm always trying to be cautious of who's around me and what's going on. Because I'm looking for opportunities to serve as well, okay? I, 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 we, we need to live a lifestyle, of really, of servanthood. We are, we are created, we were made to serve one another, to help one another. And that's the kind of person I want to be, wherever I'm at, even if it's at Walmart, okay? I want to serve. I was at Walmart the other day, and um, there was an elderly lady there, and I could, she was wandering around the parking lot. She couldn't find her car. And so I said, ma'am, can I help you uh, find your car? And she said, absolutely. I said, well, where are your keys? She gave me her keys. I sounded her horn and uh, I went and walked her to her car, put her groceries in her car. Like, that's what we're here for. No, she's not going to, she didn't join my team and even talk about Sensi. But when you start doing these things, you're going to build relationships. You're going you're gonna to make connections and you will find somebody that will join your team 
just because I believe in the in sowing the seeds and you're going to reap the rewards of those benefits. It's good. It, it's, it's biblical. I believe in it and it's going to happen. That's, that's what happens. And I believe that's why where we are today. Yeah. When I say we're recruiting more people now than we ever have in our business. And I believe that's why I'm standing in line at Walmart and the, the mom has, you know, some screaming kids or whatever. And, and, and I'll say to her, Oh my gosh, you know, can I help you? What can I do? You know, do you mind if I give them a piece of candy or a mint in my purse? You know, I want to help them. I want to help that mom. And when, before we leave, I'll probably say, Oh my gosh, here's a little goodie. Make your car smell good. And I'll pull a stunt circle out of my purse. Right. Because I always have stashes of stuff in my purse. Today, I went, um, we were, um, oh, today was my salon day. So I went and got my, um, as you can tell, remember we talked about this earlier, <laughs> my, my, my little tan I got going on. <laughs> <laughs> so I was at the salon, and um, uh, the first salon I went to, uh, while I sat there, you guys, I took all of these and I text every single one of these people while I was at the salon, right? And so what does that create? It creates conversation, right? What are you doing, you know? So I got to share something with everybody there. What, what did I do when I leave? I, I pulled a room spray out of my purse and I pulled a scent circle out of my purse and some um, scentsy soaps out of my purse, right? I'm leaving them and of course a new catalog, right? Uh, I went and had Manny Petty today. What did I do while I was there? I did my Amy follow-up. I chit-chatted with all the ladies there. Before well, that's what I, you say. You almost said something else. <laughs> <laughs> before I left, right, I pulled some stuff and passed it around the salon, right? This is a lifestyle of recruiting, right? We are generous. We bless other people, right? We give more than we take. We spread kindness. We smile. We tell people, have a good day. God bless you, right? That's just sharing seeds of kindness with people right and, you know if you're that's going to attract people that's going to attract people even yes. if they don't even if they don't care about what you do as a for your business that will attract people positivity attracts people right when you attract people they want to know more about you right if you are radiating positively people are going to be one around you right they're going to want to be on your team we have um I was going through my list of who's on our front line earlier. Like I counted, I don't know how many of our lifelong friends are on our team. Yeah. You know what? They, they, it's, they, a lot of them are hobbyists. That's okay. Right. That's okay. They're on our team because they want to help us. Right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's where this whole lifestyle of recruiting um, comes into play is just radiating positivity being kind, being generous. I can not even tell you how many warmers we have gifted to people, mm -hmm. right? And one of my directors, I gifted her a warmer before she ever joined. And they just loved how, and she ended up joining. Um, at the time, um, she was my, um, my daughter's boyfriend today. Uh, her, it's my son-in-law. <laughs> She's the director on our team. Like you just never know, right? Um, <clears throat> all right, I hear this a lot. I've asked people and nobody wants to join my team. I've heard that so many times. What that tells me is you are not having enough conversations. Right. You are not asking enough people. And sometimes people say, no, that just means not right now. It's probably not a good time in their life. Right. They might have too much going on. It doesn't <clears> mean they're <throat> never going to join, right? And it, when a, a join, a, a amazing join special comes up, you can still ask them. All right, I keep asking people until they tell me, get Don't, out, stop texting me, <laughs> get out of my life, <laughs> right? I had, I had several of these today and um, in my stack here that um, I, I was messaging people today and all this stack, and I had several that said, and I ripped them up. They said, stop. So I just ripped them up, right? I'm gonna take them off my list. It didn't bother me, I could care less. Like, those are not my people, it's okay. I got plenty more people, right? There's millions of people out in the world, right? We're going to go find those other people, right? Those are just not my people. Kaylee, and you are a server, right? You were a server. Did you keep foreign until they said stop, right? Yeah. <laughs> and when they said stop, you weren't offended about it either, right? 
No, and I, I love that example that you guys gave the one time just about going to Tim Hortons and they ask you every darn time that you're there, would you like an apple fritter? And I'm like, yeah. no. But yes. like one time I, I will want an apple fritter. So um, I regurgitate that to all, everyone in my front line because when you put it like that, you're not as hurt, right? Okay, like exactly. people at, t at Starbucks don't cry when I don't want their apple fritter. <laughs> that's right, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Or maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You could, uh, Kay Kaylee's another perfect example. Share how you became a consultant. Um, well, I had a friend named Martha Murray. And so I, I another Martha Murray came up as suggested friends. And I was kind of like, that witch, like she deleted me. So I'm going to re-add her. <laughs> but it was the wrong Martha Murray. It was you. And I didn't know you. But I was like, I can't delete this poor woman now because I just added her. And then I like kept watching your stuff. I was like, she's got really great hair. Her daughter's got really great hair. <laughs> and then I think just one time I was like, you sell Sensi? You're like, yeah. And you're like, do you want to join? I'm like, sure. <laughs> it's like, if you give me hair tips, I'm in. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you guys, don't be afraid to ask, right? You never know. Look at, remember Kaylee's a director. Like, what if I never asked you? This is true. Or what if you had bad hair? I would have never, <laughs> never <laughs> friended you. Actually, I think I asked you first, and you didn't join right away. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I said I'd. I think I said I'd think about it. Yeah, and then and we then, had promo. Yeah. And then we asked you again. So you guys don't ever like. If you are, if you are comfortable talking to people, you probably have not asked enough people. You probably, you need to get uncomfortable talking to people and having these conversations. That means you're coming out of your comfort zone. Right. Yeah. You need to have more conversations. You need to talk to more people. It, you just do. That, that's how it's going to happen for you guys. Um, okay. Uh, now we go to 2A. Build your message. Reflect on key benefits of running your own business. Flexibility, extra income, travel, what's happening this month. Um, so these are, we're going to talk about a little bit about this on 2A. All right. Oh, I know another thing I was going to say too is so many times when we are talking to people and we are, we've been guilty of this. We word vomit on people, right? Like we get so excited and we share all the things and we will share like warmer of the month and, um, I don't know, like the entire catalog, right? We don't need to do that with people. Right. It can be overwhelming. It's overwhelming. We don't need to do that. We keep it short and simple. Little nuggets, like okay. we talked about before. Yeah. We've talked about little nuggets, key key pieces. Kiss. Yeah. Keep it short and simple. Yeah. Keep it sensey simple. Keep it sensey simple. How's that? There we <laughs> go. Um, so don't word vomit on people, and um, we don't. They don't need to tell them all the things. And uh, I, we have been so guilty of that and we get so excited and we just, we love Sensi so much and we want to share all the things, but we do not need to do that. What we need to be doing is asking questions. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Do you know of anyone that would, is lo looking to earn some extra income? Do you know of anyone that loves to travel? And I'm giving you, these are some of the building your message. This is under that category, kind of creating those conversations. Another thing when I, I, I do, I've done a lot of, I do this all the time actually, um, is like we'll be at a booth and people are walking by and I see somebody's bag that I like. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love your bag. And she's like, oh really? I'm like, where'd you get it? Or I love your shirt. Or it's just creating conversation, casual conversation. It has nothing to do with Sensi. But when, if I'm at a booth and they're walking by, they're going to be like, oh my goodness. What well, slows them down. It slows them down. Right. They look, right? Right. So I'm looking mm -hmm. to create conversation. Mark stands outside of the booth and he's, if he sees somebody, like all the time this happens, you guys, I kid you not. We are at a, an event down here and somebody walks by with a Cubs shirt on. Like we're Cubs, Cubs fans, right? Cubs hat, Cubs shirt. Yeah. And immediately, like, Mark's like, go Cubs! <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know? Um, it happens all the time down here. There's tons of Chicago people down here. 
But these are just things where I'm just trying to share different things for you and how you can create conversations with people. I'm at the store and I see a mom and a cute little girl. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. I like, I love to talk to kids, right? So these are just conversations, create conversations. And before I leave, I'll be like, oh my God, gosh, you need this little scent sample. Do you like smell good stuff? I don't say scentsy. I typically don't say scentsy to people. Do you like smell good stuff? Oh my gosh, I have a little candle business. I want to share one of my samples with you. These are can create conversations. Right. Um, all right. I'm going to, I've got to get back to my notes here. Get back to your notes. Today it was, I had somebody come in with a white Sox hat on. So then I had to mess with him then because, of course, we're north side and he's south side. And I, I just told him I didn't know if I could help him, you know. So I mess with people. I build relationships. You know, someone comes in with the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, no, we can't. We can't do that. They got a Cardinals hat on. Again, I'm building relationships. We're laughing about it, teasing each other. But it's building those relationships so people want to see me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um. Another thing I wanted to share too is practice makes perfect, right? We're not natural born recruiters. Most of you are moms. You were not naturally born knowing how to raise your children, right? It, took you, it takes practice to be a mom. It takes practice to be a sensi consultant. It takes practice to recruiting. And the more conversations you have, the better that you will get at recruiting and your recruiting will go up. But you've got to have the conversations. And you have to start somewhere, right? Yep. You have to start somewhere. Um, so many of you guys had, oh, we're almost out of time already? Oh, oh, I months. gotta hurry. Okay. All right. All right. Going on, moving on. Okay. All right, we're gonna go over to 2B, putting it all together. Now that we have a message, right? Uh, we gotta get out and talk to people. All right, one thing I wanna talk about is with this sheet, they've talked about getting out and talking to, having 10 new conversations every week. Do you guys think that's doable, having 10 new conversations every week? Getting out and meeting people, going to the doctor's office, your kids' schools, Facebook conversations, you don't even have to leave your house. You can have these conversations on Facebook, but make it your goal to have 10 conversations every week. If you have 10 new conversations every week, okay, there's four weeks in a month. That's 40 conversations. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were telling no, me no. No, <laughs> like, Can I do my math wrong? Okay. Yeah, that's 40 conversations. I bet your business will boom, you guys, if you will have these intentional conversations. Watch your business take off. Okay? It will happen. It will happen. Stop saying I'm not a recruiter. Okay? I don't want to hear anyone say that anymore. You are a recruiter. Get post-it notes. And I am a recruiting rock star. Put it on your phone. Put it on the mirror where you see it every day when you do your, your hair, your makeup. Put it in your car when you go somewhere. Put this, I am a recruiting rock star. Because so many of you have shared with me that you want to grow your business, that you want to have a team, that you want a certain dollar amount as an income every single month. That is going to come by you building a team. Yep. That's how it's going to happen. Okay? That's how it's going to happen. All right. Another thing is make sure you're using Amy for follow-up. When you have these conversations with people, when you're meeting these people, you're collecting their information, um, put them in your Amy. And then that will give you your reminder that you need to follow up with them. Build authentic, true relationships truly care about people not just for your business but because you are a good person mm -hmm. i know every single one of you are a good person and have those conversations have you ever thought about doing what i do because i think you would be an amazing consultant i think you would be awesome at doing what i do right compliment people when you ask them right you can find something always good to say about anyone if you do not follow up with people you will never hear that yes You've got to follow up, you guys. You have got to follow up. We mm -hmm. love to talk to people. We love to hear people's stories. I love to hear where people have been or they've traveled or what they do for a living. Truly care about people. When you truly care about people and you show that they matter, they will want to be a part of what you're doing. Um, all righty. 
I think I finished. All right, anyone have any questions? Anything you wanna add? Love to hear your feedback. I love to hear what you have to say. Anyone have anything to say? On that 10, 10, 10, you was two new, 10 new conversations a week. Um, you wanna have 10, what was the other two 10s? I didn't write them down earlier when we were talking about them. Oh, that Jason talked about? Yep. Oh, I didn't write that down. I'm sorry. No, I it was 10 know, new I'm conversations, sorry. and I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm sorry. I, I was thinking about them, and then I didn't write it down. And Oh, I didn't write. Yeah, I didn't write that. Some of us old people, when we get old, we forget stuff. So. <laughs> did anyone listen to the, the original call on this, Jason did? No. No. Okay. That's okay. Well, that's the reason we wanted to go over it. Yeah. Sometimes it's 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 kind of hard to get in sometimes. So yeah, when absolutely. we're doing other things. Oh, hi, so. Carrie. Is it just two pages? Because I've only got two pages. Yeah, it's only two pages. Okay, because I was looking for um, two A. Where is that? Um, two, two A is on the first page right here. What? This is mine. I don't know. It doesn't look right. Okay, well, that's all right. It just looks like 1A and then 2B. So I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay. No biggie. Right. No any biggie. Has anyone had any con recruiting conversations in the past couple weeks? And how did it go? Did you ask somebody what's going on? Share. Okay, Merida. Um, I actually been dealing with a lady I met off of um, Marketplace on Facebook. She ordered flowers and then she ordered a warmer and her husband is like getting fed up with her because she don't work about <laughs> spending all of his work money, which was kind of like what happened between Greg and myself. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't really, you know, I was like, that's how I started. And so she talked to her husband and she's going to join next week. Awesome. So she's like, don't order any of my stuff. I just gave you to order. I'm going to get it for free. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Yep. Congratulations. Yeah. Anyone else? Oh, go ahead. Jackie. So I held a uh, Facebook party with um, a friend of a friend and uh initially like it was kind of like just crickets in there and so i did some hostess coaching with her one-on-one -on -one, um via messenger and i was like hey you uh, i'm gonna need you to like participate you know the the likes and the thumbs ups and stuff is good but it's not it's not getting our party anywhere so then she started commenting and like her comments were like above and beyond like she was posting pictures and she was posting you know like like real sales pitching i'm like oh okay you know, and then like that got the party like rolling nonstop. And so um, she wound up having qualifying somewhere like just over 200, I think. But um, her her cousin was going to place an order and wanted just the two bars. And I'm like, Kate, why don't you tell her we have a special, the three for 17, you know? And she's like, oh, I already did. You know, she's like, she showed on paycheck or whatever, but uh, next time I'm going to get her. And I'm like, wait, like you pitched her our special. I'm like, it sounds like you need to be on my team. You know, and like I just said, I kind of just kind of threw it in there, just like joking. And she's like, actually, I have been thinking about joining your team, you know, and this is like a friend of a friend. So like I don't have a pers personal relationship with her, but she's been following my page. She was at the last party I threw for her friend. Um, and so she's like, yeah, I'm thinking about it. So I uh, I remembered what you said last time about the holdups. And I asked her, I'm like, okay, can I ask you what's holding you back? You know, and normally like me, I would have been like, okay that's fine. You know, and just yeah. dropped it. But I remembered your tip. And so I asked her and she's like, honestly, she's like fear. Fear is what's holding me back right now. Okay. So we had a conversation about that. Um, but she's like, I am thinking about it. She's like, and she's like, if, and she's like, if I do, and then she's like, when I do, she's like, I'm definitely going to let you know. So mm -hmm. she's going to be attending another party that I'm throwing in a week or so. So I'm going to okay. want to work on her again then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Carrie. Uh, the lady that got the whiff box, Tracy, she she had mentioned that she thought about joining. So I messaged her before this, and her whiff box is coming Friday, so I let her know that. So when do you think I should jump on her again? <laughs> <laughs> um, what do y'all think? We're going to get cut off, you guys. We'll talk 
later on that. Okay. Because we got less than a minute here and uh, we're going to get, it's going to cut us all off. So amazing, you guys. I love you guys. Praying for you guys. Hope you have a rest, a great rest of your evening and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.